Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right, so all of our DF Empress High Priestess energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine Hunty, you can go ahead and get that because this reading right now is not for you, all right? Let us go ahead, you all, and jump right into it. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for Jewel on today all right if you didn't see the last reading go and check it out this is basically a part two to that reading all right where we're going deeper into it looking into the storyline of it all okay the ins and outs in between everything you need to know etc what's to come dot 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 all right so if you are new here welcome welcome and if you are returning welcome back let us see what the messages are that spirit has here for jewel on today all right we have the knight of wands all right yeah this person is extremely passionate about you but driven and motivated and determined to make something happen okay they refuse to have this be at a standstill okay this person feels like you may have one opinion they may have another opinion but that's fine okay you can agree to disagree they just want to manifest you back they want you back into their life okay so even if we have to have a conversation that's uncomfortable, we agree to disagree, that's fine. Let's move on. Let's make love and move on. <laughs> we have the tower. Okay. And it was in reverse, but it put itself into the upright. So that tells me that someone could have been trying to avoid making certain shifts and changes, although they were being tested by spirit to make them. They just didn't want to make them. Okay. Um, it could have been somebody building something up a very specific way. Let's say you start a business and you know, maybe business wasn't doing well. And, you know, spirit was telling you shift something up, change your, you know, um, presentation, change your uh, marketing, change your management, do something, change something. And you was like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Didn't do it. Got slower, got slower. You changed something. Now things are picking up, you know. Um, so it's that type of energy. This person feels like they're being tested in many ways in their personal life and now they're being tested in this connection and in this relationship okay so they could have also been going through a separation divorce breakup anything like that because if like you didn't see that reading over there again i still have the cards out so i can show you with this message of love some of them not all of them could have been married or in long-term relationships okay so that could be what that tower card is about. You know, nobody really wants to go through a breakup, even if you don't want to be with that person anymore. Sometimes people are just comfortable staying in situations because they've already started building a life. You know, you've gotten comfortable. So why would I do that? Right. But we have emotional intelligence. So if your person is not water sign, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, somewhere, sun, moon, especially moon, rising or Venus emphasis on that, too. Um, anywhere on their chart, really, then this is just somebody who's, like I said, emotionally intelligent, in love with you, deeply passionate about you and wanting to express this. OK, this is someone that a lot of people go to for advice, OK, because they can empathize. And even if they haven't been through a situation themselves, they have enough compassion within to say, OK, I understand how you're feeling. Or I understand how that would make you feel because they're able to put themselves in another person's shoes and say, how would I feel if this were me? So they're an empath like you. OK, twins usually match in that way. You're an empath. They're an empath. OK, they may not know it. They may not utilize it. You know how many empaths don't know their empaths? Don't utilize it. OK, didn't know what an empath was until they knew what an empath was, you know, so <laughs> it's OK. We've all, you know, been ignorant to things before. But I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, this person is building themselves up. They're working on becoming this person that they see themselves being, okay? Three of Cups is like celebratory energy, but it could also be a third party, reunion. We'll see where spirit takes it, okay? 
Let us see. This person appreciates your patience, though. They really do, okay? And that came out in the last reading. This person feels like you are somebody who is full of love, someone who is super compassionate. You're very generous and giving. You know how to receive love. You don't push love away, but you also know how to set healthy boundaries. Once upon a time, maybe you didn't set the boundaries with them because it was mentioned here that the two of you have boundaries around your heart that only the other person is able to cross. But as of recent, something has shifted or changed that maybe uh, made you or this person feel like, you know, maybe we need to enforce healthier boundaries or something like that. All right. So with the hangman here feeling trapped, somebody could have felt stuck in a situation. You know, again, I want to do what I feel like I being called to do, but I feel trapped. I feel stuck. What am I being called to do to commit you know, and they may not have saw themselves as this king, but this is who they're becoming because the night is on moves, making moves on missions. Right. So this is someone that may sometimes come off as kind of arrogant too. now. They could be arrogant because they know how much you love them or they know how you feel about them. So they use that to their advantage. This could be someone that feels like they love challenges. They enjoy challenges and anything that's too easy, they don't like. So it's not like I'm saying they want you to sit there and toy with them and play with their heart and do this and that. And if again, you didn't see the last reading, go and check it out. So I'm definitely not saying that. Okay. They know you're not like that, but they also understand cause and effect. So in the event that this person has put you in an energy where you feel like now you have to protect yourself from them or set boundaries with them, like firmer boundaries, because there should always be boundaries, right? Like always, no matter the relationship. But I'm not talking about that. You, you got you should discernment. OK, thank you. Um, but never with them. And now there is these super intense boundaries with them. They're getting it. They're like, hold up. Wait a minute. Mm -mm. Some ain't right. Wait a minute. You know, so they're dedicated to figuring out what that is. Yeah. Ace of Swords is clarity. They want to talk. They want to see what's up. Okay. All right. We have the nine of wands. Nine of wands is being tired. Feeling a little bit, a little bit tired. Okay. Because whew, his tower. This person, whoever they're around, they take a lot of energy from them. Mm -hmm. This person feels like whatever they're doing, they're giving it their last shot because what they really want to be doing is being in union with you. You understand? So they're like, I'm giving this my last shot because I am tired. So whether that be, like I said, for some of them, they were already in relationships or marriages, they're tired. You know, whether that be they were working on certain projects and it just wasn't going the way they wanted it to. And that's why they put this relationship on the back burner because they were focused on that as their priority. They're tired. Whatever it is they were doing, it's just exhausting. It could also be them just being tired of trying to deny this feeling for you. It's exhausting. You know, they're sitting here like, oh, my gosh, like how much longer do I have to try to deny my divine counterpart when I know what I really want to do is be with them in every way that I can be with them. OK, so Knight of Wands, yeah, Four of Pentacles, they're taking action because this person wants to hold on to you. OK, this is somebody that when they care for people, they just try to hold on to them. But this may also be someone that needs to release people and things that continue to cause them tower moments. And I feel like that's what they're doing. Spirit is like, okay, you didn't want to make the move. I'll cause this tower to fall. So then you can go ahead and make that move. Yeah. We have the three of swords. So that may cause pain. Your masculines may have experienced a lot of heartache, pain and suffering, unfortunately, but whatever it is, they found out some sort of betrayal. Okay. They could feel really lost right now without you, Queen of Swords. When you get into this energy of I'm just going to keep it pushing. I don't want to deal with this right now. I'll talk to you later. Temperance. It really hurts them, but it also shows them that they have to take action. They have to take accountability for the actions they've already done, you know, or whatever the case may be in order to restore balance with their soulmate. 
because that's what temperance is all about, right? Balance, being restored, inner peace, you know, being calm, God's energy, which is tranquility, right? So I feel like you provide all of that for them. Again, with you being the lady of the gift and someone who has spirit communication, okay? The diamond dreamer, material wealth, and true prosperity, Gaia's garden, this person knows it. You are forever going to be blessed because you are pure at heart. You are pure in soul, okay? Ace of Pentacles, exactly. So with this King of Cups, this person loves you with their entire heart and soul. What they want to do is marry you, okay? Again, if you did not see the last reading, go check it out. But I don't mind showing those of you who, you know, may not have the time or, you know, want to sneak peek or whatever. It's still here, okay? The cards are still here. So I'll pick up the ones that apply when they apply for those, you know, when I feel guided. But you need to go and check that message out because there are messages in there that are not going to be repeated here. It's just not going to hit the same. All right. Got to go check it out over there. But this Ace of Pentacles is my engagement ring. It's also business opportunity. So like I said, this person could want to invest into business. You guys will be working together. Maybe something is flourishing. You know, they could have their own business. You have your own business. It's not working. It's not working. Y'all come together. It's even more powerful than it could have been on your own. Because it was never meant for you to do it on your own. Okay. So definitely something like that going on here. Your manifestation coming into the physical. This person coming into the physical. All right. We got the six of wands and the six of cups. All right. Past life love. You're successful. Past life love. That's what it feels like. Okay. Like you guys will overcome whatever obstacles that you're going through. Okay. Or this person recognizes that this is a past life love. They know you before. Past life love. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, they want to put work in to this relationship. They don't want to lose you. They feel like this is destiny. This is fate. This is meant to be. So, they're, look, the star card, I cannot. So they're not wanting to lose it, the Ten of Swords, okay? I feel like there's an abrupt ending happening in this person's life, okay? They could be walking away from some things, some people, relatively quick because what they refuse to do is lose you. This person is spying right now, watching everything that you're doing, wherever you're doing it, okay? So just know that. You got the hangman. They could have been feeling a little uncertain which direction they wanted to go, what it is they want to do. Swinging back and forth, really like, okay. Okay. Yeah, we got the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. So they understand why, you know, you put that distance. Queen of Cups. They understand why they're Queen of Cups, put that distance. But look, the Page of Swords sticking his head out. They're spying on you or they have somebody spying on you. And I mentioned that in the reading I did last night, but I'm going to post it today. All right. They definitely have somebody spying on you. All right. So by the time you see this, I'll be done already posted it. Go check that out. <laughs> <clears throat> they're queen of cups they're like yeah you made a choice based on true feelings your true feelings are that i was not working with you i've not been dedicated to this i did not recognize this connection for what it was and so now i do and my discernment on the situation is i'm going to set myself free from anything and anyone that is draining me of my energy that's the decision that i make okay yeah high priestess i'm going to trust my inner knowing when it comes to who or what is causing me burdens, hardships, difficulties, strife, headaches, heart, you know, hardship, if I didn't already say that, heartache, okay, I'm over it all, over it, over it, over it, right, so we have two of pinnacles, restoring balance with my twin, that's what's on their mind, yeah, see, the lovers as the underlining can't make it up, restoring balance with my twin, my divine counterpart, ending a cycle, completing a cycle, all right, bringing this person into my life, bringing this into fruition, starting new. This is great news for you. It gives you peace of mind, makes you feel good. This person is very, very attracted to you. And when they think of you, this is what they think about. Building a life, okay? Alone, happy, stable life. All right. Let me clear this board. All right, I'm going to pull some Oracle and wrap it up. I hope that this helps you. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe, guys, okay? The dark. Take a moment to sit under the star-speckled sky, listening to crickets and breathing in the cool night air. 
All right, underline the energy, trust. The light in you cannot be dimmed. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> All right, I'll speak to you guys soon. Peace and hagrid. Thank you.